Hi everyone, this is South Water Games. Uh, we're going to make a short little video here, just talking about our flashlight project. Um, first game that we're working on. Everything's basically in alpha state right now. So, you know, things may change. Um, things may be quite different once you get the product in your hands, but uh, here's where we're at for the time being. I also have another dev here with me to help me play stuff and test stuff out. Hello. Okay, cool. I got the game so made. What are we doing first here? So first we're going to show the kind of the survival mode that we're working on. Uh, we're calling the survival mode Damnation. Basically, waves of zombies will come at you and you're going to try to survive by using different weapons, um, getting like uh, different scores. Get, if you get like kill streaks or get kills in certain ways, you'll be able to gain a score down here that you can see and then eventually you'll be able to use that score to get like airdrops and other bonuses. We're still implementing that process as we go. But, so this is the procedurally generated map system that we have. So every time you play this, you should have a slightly different map. We got an airdrop coming in here because we didn't toggle it up a little bit, but... Nice. So this bright red mist marker is the airdrop. Yeah, basically a flare, right? Flare. So right now I'm just using the pistol, um, which has 10 normal shots and infinite ammo. But if you... If you get up close, well, if you're if you're able to shoot at a wall or any solid object, you can actually do bouncy shots. Let's see if I can get this to work. Oof. Then the shots will bounce a couple times. And if you can get uh, bounce kills, you can gain uh, a score multiplier down here. Then every time you get kills or do something that gets you score, you'll be able to gain that much more more score. Yeah, and we plan on adding more um, bonus features. One of the things that I just did was a super sniper. If you get multiple kills with one snipe shot, you get a score modifier plus as well. I think uh, kill streak is the only other one we have. Well, kill streak, and then we have a barrel buster. If we go find a barrel and you kill a zombie with a barrel right now, that'll also give you a score modifier. Yeah, so if you look down in the lower left here, that pulsating one there shows the number of special shots that I have with the weapon that I have currently equipped. Uh, so I have one of those those sniper shots that that Rich mentioned. So let me see if I can line up zombies. Try not to waste my rifle shots since I don't have too many. Oh, come on. <laughs> I was hoping a third one would show up here. There's a bunch of guys over here to the right. Yep. There we go. Oh, I didn't quite. I got two. Um, we also have a sprint. If you hit shift, you get like a quick boost of energy. But then you have you a cooldown. You catch on fire. And then you can catch on fire, which I just did. <laughs> that was very, very talented of me. Just showing off the features, you know. <laughs> Um, you can actually propagate that fire to your teammates, too, if you bump into them while you're still on fire. So, uh, gotta be careful of that. Um, as you can see, the zombies sometimes drop ammo and health here. So I'm at 44, so it's good for me to grab some health. What are you at, Rich? Um, I'm at 60 right now. I just got 20, though, so I'm doing okay. But yeah, one of the cool things about um, the damnation mode currently is that all the maps are completely procedurally generated, including all the drop points, the buildings, the roads, the trees, um, the terrain. So every time you play it, it should be different. We also have a, oh, there's a barrel. We can try to use that later once we get some more zombies. Um... We have a mini map up here, which shows the general layout of the level as far as like walls and things that you that you can't go through. Um, if you go past this yellow line that you see up there, that'll 
basically showed this message here. That's that's the border of the level. If you stay out for that entire countdown, then you will die. <laughs> so don't do that. Be a hero. Stay and fight. I'm gonna break some of these boxes here. Here we go. I got some of the uh some of the piercing shots for the pistol. So we gotta find the rest of the zombies. Here we go. So piercing shots do as the as as expected. We'll go through multiple targets if I can line up some here. There we go. Uh oh, I might die. Oh no! Don't nope, do that. <laughs> oh, I'm not doing too good either. Oh, is here. that the? I got poisoned. Which which zombie is that? The spitter zombie, maybe? That was the spitter. I thought you had a meat chucker uh, at you right there. <laughs> oh, I guess we don't have any Lots bosses of... spawning yet. Oh crap, I did die. As you can see down here, we have total carnage. Lots of blood. Uh, so currently in this mode, you won't be able to respawn. We're probably going to implement a mode where you can get up a teammate. Uh, we might... We might have a, like a sliding scale, like as far as number of times you can get a teammate up, like maybe you'll be rewarded if you get a certain score with the ability to like res your teammates more times. Or um, even an airdrop with a defibrillator in it, some such thing. Or an airdrop, yeah, we're still working on that part. Um, Let me show the grenade real quick. I'll probably just make another game here so we can both keep playing. The grenade has two fire modes one where you can if you left click you can bounce it off of things kind of like that bounce it off the wall if you right click it'll go straight towards where you right click that as far as your the cursor is concerned i can just throw it right there let me get out of here so we can start up another game real quick another feature we've implemented here is if you go to profile you can choose between male and female characters Use a woman. Male, female, we have the high score there. Probably some other features at some point, potentially. Okay, got the game made. All right. There we go. Well, there's a barrel we can use. Go grab this box. I'm gonna be bazooka heavy this round. Oh yeah, actually I haven't shown off the bazooka yet, so you should do that. Ooh, somewhere I got uh, piercing bullets here. Here's some ammo for the shotgun. So the shotgun is, not, as usual, is a good close range weapon. It also has a secondary stun shot. Uh, if we hit any bigger zombies, I'll show that off. Did we make mention that every gun currently has two different modes of shooting, right click and left click, where left click is your normal shot and right click is a special shot, special shot of some sort, depending on the type of gun? Yeah, so I mentioned the bounty bullets um, and the uh, snipe shot for the rifle. But yeah, so the secondary for the shotgun is the stun, which hopefully I'll do once it's worth doing. Um, yeah, so the the pistol, the special is the bouncy, the rifle oh, would be a snipe shot. Boom. Uh oh. I might be in uh -oh. trouble. Fire oh everywhere. no! You dead? <laughs> oh well, at least so. I got the uh, the barrel kill, which gave me quite a bit of a uh, multiplier down there. And then I also got a kill streak. So for kill streaks, then that activates a score multiplier as well. Um, so the score multiplier slowly degrades over time of not getting kills. So you can see it's ticking down here from, it was at five, and now it's gone down by half measures each time. So 
we'll we'll watch a rich here. Maybe he'll survive. Oh, he's off screen. We'll probably we'll probably implement some kind of spectating mode at some point. Oh oh, so that was the bazooka. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, it's effective both against zombies and yourself. So be careful. <laughs> and it counts Rick's uh, kill streak up here. He rid of, rid the world of twenty four zombies. Let's make another game. Apparently our showing here is not great. We're not good at our own game. <laughs> this mode supports currently, uh, I think we're going to go with up to four players. Um, we might have some bot support for this mode later. We're still kind of talking about how we're going to do that. But we'll show, yeah, the, we'll show what we have for the bots a little bit later with uh, Capture the Flag. Sorry, go ahead, Rich. Well, I was just going to mention that we'll have different wave mechanics um and potentially different zones that you can navigate to after a certain amount of waves still working out kind of the mechanics of the different waves types of waves and um potentially having enemy bots involved in some of those waves where they're kind of rogue mercenary people rather than just zombies too so you probably noticed that there's a little buy menu at the beginning of this um that for this mode, that's ultimately not going to be there. Um, we have a money and a purchasing system implemented for the other modes. In this mode, we started doing a little more recently, and we haven't removed it yet. Um, so you'll see more of that later. There was a zombie on fire. Yeah, watch out I, for that. I forget. They can set each uh, each other on, on fire, right? Like other zombies Correct. on fire. Correct. Yeah, the, the fire is contagious, basically. up a little bit let's see if I can do some more bouncy shots oh accidentally blew up a barrel didn't even know it was there there we go got some bounce kills we have sort of an arcadey like style for the score but we thought it was kind of cool since you don't get to see that too often anymore but then Eventually, you'll be able to translate that score into actual pickups. Um, you have a sprint uh, ability that you can do. The downside to using the sprint, which gives you a speed boost for a few seconds, is that then you have a speed degradation for a few seconds after that so you yeah. get kind of penalized for using it for a, That's a where second it starts, or two. Start, your character starts sweating here health here if you need it there's a bunch up in this building here oh there's a whole bunch coming for this grenade you know what i'm gonna use the bazooka so here's the bazooka um four shots in the um, i guess we're gonna call it magazine by default even though that's not the correct word <laughs> but that just goes towards obviously intended target in a straight line that's kind of a cool uh smoke effect yeah it's definitely a good looking weapon the uh the zombies kind of blow into bits whenever you hit them with the bazooka as well boom The numbers that are popping up above the zombies heads, in case anyone was wondering, is just the damage that's being done. And then the numbers that appear above the player's heads is the score that you're accumulating. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we both had the same, same idea in mind. We do have a flamethrower that we're still working on. Oh, did you take that out, Rich? Never mind. Scratch I did I take said. it out for now, <laughs> yeah. At some point, we'll have a flamethrower. We hadn't fully implemented it. Uh oh, coming at me hard. Oh, oh good. I gotta go find some crates. I think. You just got an airdrop here, so you oh, get good. one. Oh yeah, so I, I got the score of a thousand. 
So I got an airdrop. You said, uh, Rich, at some point in the future, we're going to be, like, kind of control it, or we're going to let the player control where that comes in, right? Right, yeah. yeah. Maybe a bit of, probably click within your viewable range, or maybe uh, within a certain distance from your character where you want it to drop. And uh, we may right, most likely on. add some other... Blast, by the way. That's why it had the stars around it. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. So we'll probably add some other score bonus items too. Right now the only one is the airdrop, but probably be other things that you can obtain by getting certain score thresholds. A friendly bot is one of them that was mentioned. These spitter zombies that are showing up here a little bit will poison you if they hit you with their spit, which is fairly deadly. Yeah, that poison's nasty. Oh, there he goes. Fortunately, he missed me. Oh, that one got me. All right, so you can see the poison effect there. Slowly losing some health. Ow. That was a whole horde of them. Ah. Uh. And I'm also on fire. Oh, I might die here. I'm getting pretty low. Oh. I could use I could <laughs> I use a health. <laughs> I could use a I could use a doctor. I'm dead. You're dead. <laughs> I'm at three percent here. Where'd you die up here in the I'm yeah, I was basically here? running away and went outside bounds. I didn't die from the timeout, but they, they killed me when I was still out of bounds. Nice grenade there. Yeah, so that mode should be, it, it will support up to four players at a time. <clears throat> Let's try one yeah. more time. I was thinking the... three or four. It kind of depends on how we can, we want it to still be difficult with four. So it all comes down to if there are any network limitations and how, uh, if we can still make it enjoyable with four people and yeah. challenging, which we should be able to. I don't see any reason why we couldn't. I think so. I'm going to make one more. We're going to get to that boss. I'm going to fight hard this time. All right. I personally find the rifle the most useful right now in this game mode. Yeah, same. Although the rocket launcher can do some pretty good damage too if you get them bottled up. There's a crate. Going for the crate. Oh no, it's outside. Kind of outside the range there, but oh, we got Might some zombies in, in the big building here. Oh yeah, you see those bounce kills? <laughs> I actually really <laughs> like the fact that we have those. Yeah, we still, it, um, might be worth adding a little more to the, uh, the amount of oh I got a barrel buster there. Nice. The amount of, that you get from a bounce kill since it's a little more rare than a snipe kill. I, I I had tweaked it a little bit, but it could use maybe further tweaking. It depends though, because if you get the um, the piercing shots with the bounce, then it goes crazy. Oh, uh, that's true. Maybe Actually, we should I, go I if I can somewhere do it. else. I feel like we're in a bad spot here. I'm getting out of this building. <laughs> well, the going's good. Oh no. I'm in a bad way. I need uh -oh. help. <laughs> Get behind me. <laughs> oh no. I didn't see him. <laughs> oh, no. I, I died being your bodyguard. All right. Let's try this one more time. <laughs> We can do it. One thing I did notice, I'll just cut this part out. I did notice that the the name the name when it displays at the end here only shows four characters. Oh really? Yeah. So I had South Water as my name. It just says Sout S O U T. Okay, one more. We got this. 
I feel like I'm doing so much worse than I used to. <laughs> I want to see one of the boss zombies here. It's a good, it's a good challenge. Okay, okay. Gotta be careful. You loot this building to the left. Oh. Looks like you got some piercing shots there. I did. <clears throat> now the piercing shots don't sink yet, I don't think. So I don't think you'll actually see them as piercing shots on your side yet. But Okay. Oh, maybe get a barrel buster here. There you go. Yeah. Nice. One thing I guess is interesting and worth mentioning, you can turn your flashlight off, you go a little slower as a penalty, but zombies actually don't aggro on you when your flashlight's off. Oh yeah, that's true. Um, unless you hit them with a bullet. So there I've turned mine off. So you go a lot slower. So if zombies are after you, you can't reliably have it off or they'll get you, but you can be a little stealthy with it off. It's something that we're using for the uh, the versus multiplayer modes too, since you also don't show up on the mini map if you have your flashlight off. It's sort of like a little bit of a stealth mode. Oh no, this isn't that good. Oh, I'm gonna die me. again. <laughs> no. <laughs> you stink at this game. <laughs> We're gonna have to have a developer mode that's just easier, you know. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> Just got a whole lot of bazooka ammo. Might as well use it. Um, another thing yes. we have is the secondary fire for the bazooka. So once that's up, you right click and it makes that kind of ding sound. I mean, so that means it's loaded. So it's loaded all of the um, rockets that were in on the left hand side of your ammo number down there. So next time I hit left click, it's going to shoot four rockets in pretty rapid succession. I don't want to save it. Let me see if I can find a group of zombies. Oh, there we go. Well, I could have done better, but you get the point. <laughs> what have we here? Health and nothing else. I got um, an auto shotgun, so I just need some shotgun ammo. Shotgun ammo now. More things we're considering for this mode are maybe having, um, like once the action starts to die down, maybe having little arrows that appear on the minimap up there to kind of direct you towards um, the remaining zombies, if there are any. Yeah, and one thing we also added to that end is they actually aggro after a certain amount of time. So I actually think all of them are coming at us right now okay. because a certain amount of time has passed. There we go. Oh, I got 720 for a score. So if I can get about 300 more, we get that airdrop. I'm a, I'm at a solid 50 still. <laughs> nice. I'm stealing everything. Oh, I think some are dying from fire somewhere. Oh, up here it looks like. Yeah. Oh, my fire. Mistakes were made. <laughs> <laughs> the box in that building maybe has a health. 
I'm actually at 92 again because I did grab a health that was up there. So I'm doing all right. Where is the rest? There's a few on the other There's side of this. There's some stragglers over here. Ooh. Good number of them here. Ooh. We're alive! Mm -hmm. Yeah, another thing we're planning on adding potentially is some uh, some placeable items like uh, barriers or something to that effect. Uh, this is an interesting wave here um, where they all start aggroed on you, so it's kind of a more intense wave. Yeah, they um, should again, be. The waves are things we're playing with. But... There they are. Yep, here they come. They're all on fire. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of terrifying looking. Some rifle ammo there oh, if you need it. Oh, I'm on fire. fire. Now. Stay away from me. <laughs> I'm infected now with okay. fire. Oh, watch out. Oh, crap. Jeez. Oh, no. Get away from me. Ah! I forget, does the bazooka do damage to you if I hit you with it by accident? It does, it does. yeah. So All the explosives are uh, friendly fire enabled. Oh no, yeah, this wave is uh, a little terrifying. Yep. Back up. Oh, oh we're, getting to, we're getting to the edge of the map. <laughs> oh no. Yep. Oh, crap. Oh no. Oh, you saved my butt there. All right, we got it, we got it. What's your, how's your health? Where's this guy going? Oh, he's just going the long way around. There's some, uh... Yeah, they must not be able to get through here with the pathing right now, this little area. Oh, oh there's I a boss. Him. Where is he? Oh. Scared. <laughs> oh, I'm getting hit with rocks, too. I'm almost dead. Oh, there he is. <laughs> this guy might take us out. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> oh there it is! He got me. So that's where our boss is currently. He's fast and tough. We he's might need fast, to. He's fast, he stuns you, he charges you. Yeah, we still um, gotta. What he doesn't do is ever stop aggroing on you after you're dead, so. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably change the aggro so that once somebody dies, they don't keep staying on him. That's kind of like a freebie for everyone else. There you go. Well, hey, he got the uh, laser sight off of it. Oh, I did. Yeah, so that's a. Which kind of a I know it's kind of awkward to see it in this view, but that's the the laser sight that we have. So um, that actually does increase your damage from ten to fifteen on the pistol. You can also get one for the rifle. <laughs> They're aggroed on my dead body still too. <laughs> they are. <laughs> wow. This looks horrific. There, now, <laughs> now you're off the screen. Did you die? I did. Okay. So yeah, that's kind of the the alpha that we have so far of the uh, survival mode. More features to come. <clears throat> more but, places to go, more things to see. Yep. But we're pretty happy with that so far. So now we're going to show some of the uh, capture the flag mode. Um, so the other two modes we have besides the damnation survival are capture the flag and the uh, team deathmatch. Team deathmatch is pretty self-explanatory. Um, so we'll so we'll show some of the capture the flag, and we have different maps. Some of them support two teams, which are blue and red, uh, but some of the maps support four teams. So we have blue, red, yellow, and green. Um, so we're currently implementing bots, and we're still working on the the AI for those, but they work and they're gonna fill in for the spots that are empty on these teams and hopefully help us capture some flags.
So yeah, and some it. some of the reason that we were really passionate about the bots was um, to give you the ability to play all game types solo if you wanted as well, in addition to filling out rooms if you only had a few players and still giving that complete experience. Exactly. Um, some of the inspiration from this game came from a, a game I played years ago that I used to love, and but that game did not have bots, so you did have to have a group of eight or more people to actually accomplish a capture the flag game type. So with this, you'll have bots so you can play those game types solo in addition to with people. And that'll be pretty awesome, I think. So we have, um, we have a couple things in this map, at least, that you probably didn't see in the survival mode. So we have some uh, speed boots, or what are we calling them? Running shoes. Um, Running shoes. So you get to go they look super... like shoes, but... Yeah, <laughs> you get to go super fast for a short period of time, and then there's no like cooldown after that. Um, oh, of course. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say I thought I, I thought I saw a bot get stuck quick. So this bot grabbed uh, one of the flags. I'm gonna kill him, and then grab his flag that he just dropped, and hopefully get back to my base with it. Yeah, so Ooh, we have so four teams that. of two right now currently, and to win this particular game map. There's uh, four neutral flags in the center. You have to get all four, four to win. Some of the other capture the flag maps have each team has their own flag. Um, and you have to get maybe three to win. I think as most of our others, we have a two team capture the flag where each team has a flag and you have to have both of them at any point in time to win. So this is actually a little different in that it's all neutral flags in the center, but you have to have all four. Yeah, let me get up there. Oh, there's also, um, let me try to kill this guy quick. Okay. There's also some of these barriers. Um, so it has an arrow on it. That shows you the direction that you can shoot in when you're behind it. So you shoot there. Whoop, I'm getting shot at. Hello. How you doing, Rich? <laughs> hey, trying to show off our game here. What are you doing, man? <laughs> oh. So you can shoot this direction and your bullets go through. If you try to shoot this direction, though, your bullets stop. So we're using those sandbags as kind of like a defense point, a way to stay covered. Now you can throw um, grenades over top of them, and I believe bazooka shots go over them too. I don't have one. Bazooka to shots with. hit them, but the explosive damage can hurt you. Oh, that's right. They will hit, hit and blow up. Um, well, if you kill an enemy player, you get uh, 40 health as a, as a bonus. Now, um, not. Uh, not doing as badly as I was. Here's Rich trying to take me out. Hey! Come here! Got him! The, the bouncy shots come in really useful in the sprint in, uh, in the PvP game types. They do, yeah. I love using those. Um, so we also have uh, windows. So we have a uh, mantling in the game. So if you come up to one of the windows here, it'll you'll get a little prompt that says press... Whoop. Press space to mantle, and then you'll get shot at a lot by the yellow bot. But if you get the prompt and you hit space, then you'll do a little jump animation and go over it. You can't shoot while you're jumping, so it's like a super brief period of uh, vulnerability, kind of. Whoop. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's the stun shot. <laughs> Rick stunned me and took my flag. <laughs> so obviously, being rich are the only human players in here, and all the others are... Bots currently so here's the buy menu again um so this will remain in this mode so as you get kills you'll accumulate more cash and then you can come into this screen and add more ammo your loadout then you hit respawn you come back down you can also buy uh between well without being dead if you come down to your base and go towards the the table here and you'll get a prompt that says press b to enter buy menu you can buy more stuff yeah, at the, at the bottom right of the screen, you can actually see, I don't remember if we talked about this, but you can see the teams and the scores and who has which flag. So you can see that green team right now has, well, had three and now has two. And then, so there's two missing. So there's basically two neutral flags that are uncaptured right now somewhere out there in the level. So that's, it looks like red was the one who just stole it from me. And I'm yoinking one of your other ones. <laughs> <laughs> I 
So um, we have bots that uh, are basically on capture attack duty, and we have ones that um, are on defense duty. It tries to balance out depending on how many players are on the team. So this bot on my team here, he's on defense. Um, we're going to make their behaviors a little more robust later, but currently he kind of roams between a couple defense points. Future plans for bots are having them kind of use like the, the sandbags a little bit more, or like hold important positions when they find them, or if they see an enemy and they're at one of those important positions. Here's where I'm a little late to the game up here, but here's where all the neutral flags were located. They all start in the middle here. They've all been dispersed to the various teams now. You can see the game events in the top right there as well, telling you who grabbed which flag and who took out who. In in the PvP modes, whenever you kill a player, oh. you get a tiny bit of health back, so it kind of rewards you for getting that kill. Allows you to absorb a few shots uh, in order to make the kill. And gives you a little health back. We also have a handy uh, little skull and crossbones that appears in the mini-map in the top right when someone dies. And then soon you'll see what happens when the superior green team wins. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> so we got a match MVPs thing. We're still... We might still be working. Are we still tweaking the highest rank thing? Because it seems like right now it turns. It's kind of like most kills in highest rank is pretty much the same. Yeah, I think uh, that whole screen is probably up for up for tweaking in general. So we might start adding. Uh, maybe we should start adding more game rank. accolades. Is essentially what we're yeah. after there. Yeah, we'll probably make that a little more robust at some point. Um, but the bots are actually feeling pretty good um working towards more realism but they're they're feeling pretty good the way they roam about and shoot at you it took me a minute to oh. realize this wasn't a bot right here Ooh, i was like right on the edge of that get him oh but what have you done <laughs> had one job So there's one neutral flag still hanging out in the middle since we've reset. Whoa, whoa! I see. All right, I, I see. What you, oh, oh, got him! Should have ran. <laughs> That's some precision aiming with that bazooka. We put a lot of time into uh, lag compensation too, which is more of a technical thing. But the the shooting feels really good right now does, across yeah. the network. Oh. Oh, I'm in a bad place now. Oh, I don't have any grenades. Woo. Ow. Ooh. Dodge. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow! Did you know those those were gonna hit me? That was good. Uh, I did. Well, it's kind of a circle there, so the balance yeah. is a little hard to predict. But I had three <laughs> of them. I'm gonna use my hard-earned cash here. Oh, it looks like yellow has the other two. So far side of me here. Yeah, I'm not doing so hot. Bill's gonna just like casually win while we're fighting. Oh, oh I thought I had. Oh. Oh. 
Uh, so what are some of the things we're thinking about for capture the flag? I, one other thing you can do currently with capture the flag is you can add zombies to capture the flag and it'll spawn a, a few zombies that's that needs work out a little bit um we're still playing with that but it does add a little bit of extra kind of pizzazz to the game type where there's zombies floating around the map that kind of almost like an environmental hazard sort of thing that just causes chaos it does get pretty crazy oh also as you can see here if you're at what is it 20 health or less or is it 15 health or less you get some blood spurting out of you. Which is making mincemeat out of stuff here. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I had like five health. <laughs> yeah, the, the blood spurt gives you a little bit of an indicator that you can kind of risk it for the kill shot. Oh. Oh. Jeez. Good job, bot. That bot's getting a promotion. <laughs> I have a tendency to just want to go after blue because because <laughs> of a, a human player on that team. I'm there, yeah, it makes sense. Perfectly valid strategy. Oh. When you spawn, you get a, a little bit of blinking indicator under your under the disc uh -oh. on your player, which gives you a little bit of invincibility, like right now. So I was able to swallow that oh. uh, shotgun shot or whatever it was, because I was invincible there. Uh, we did that just to basically prevent spawn camping, Fuck yeah. which can get fairly annoying. Uh, there's a little bit, bit of a balancing act though, because you want people to be able to get again, get in and get out with a flag, but um, but not be able to just spawn camp and harass people too much anyway. Pay no attention to the green flag location. Whoa! Ow! Blind Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I was blind firing there. Oh, I missed. Oh, oh god. Get him! Oh no. How are you alive? I got help from the bot. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. Oh! I risked it to kill you. You were the bigger threat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a whole crap ton of money here, I just realized. I think ultimately we were... Ooh, we were thinking about having some of these capture the flight modes support, what, 16 players max? I think it's where we're, we're thinking. Of. Um, probably 12 players max. 12? Okay. Um, yeah, 16. Just because of the amount of ne network traffic, it's getting a lot. Oh, I got him. Whoa. Ow, ow. Oh, man. <laughs> We don't even have a flag right now. You're just bullying us now. <laughs> <laughs> That's some of that spawn camping we were talking about. Um, yeah, so this game mode actually, um, it's going to be in a really good place, honestly. Most of my work has been on the damnation mode and adding features there because this mm -hmm. feels pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm currently aside doing from bot stuff. the bot work. He's yeah, that we're working on, stuff. which is coming along really good. Where, where, where are two of these flags? They must be, they must be getting carried somewhere. Oh, okay, I see two at green, one at yellow. Maybe one in the middle. Yep, yeah, one's in the middle actually.
we did have a few um I don't know if it's worth noting. We did have a few kind of alpha tests with all players in it. And I think we were up to uh, maybe six on six at one point. I think we did have 12 people in a room at one point and it went pretty well. Yeah, it was. It was some good tests. Oh, geez. Woo. I don't know why I thought you were on my team. <laughs> did you say there was one? Oh, you grabbed the one that was in the middle. Oh, and I see I two. Two at your base, but one's not captured. <laughs> One's counting down. Ah! Yeah, the flags, um, if you leave them off a base and nobody's carrying them, they'll go back to their original location after 30 seconds. So that's what that countdown was. Yeah, I hear yellow. What are you doing? Oh man, all right, we have two. <laughs> we did have two just a second ago. Uh oh, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, jeez. Maybe I could run. Get him by, run get away! Him by. I gotta run! No, don't kill me, Red. <laughs> oh! Did he get you? Red got me. <laughs> Didn't you have a flag on you? Or did you not grab one? I did. I was just trying to get away from you. <laughs> Where did that the was flag slow. go? Uh, nowhere. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no flag. <laughs> yeah, I like how red even the bots sometimes make their way all the way down to the bottom here. Like they don't get stuck just going back and forth between the two closest yeah. bases. Yeah, definitely didn't want that. Whoop. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> I'm bouncing back to myself. Ow! Good shot. Oh. Oh, man. This is rude. Oh, no. No, not the stun shot. <laughs> okay. Stun shot saved the day there. Botto 4 just saved saved the flag from Botto 2. Oh man, I have no flags anymore. Oh, we have one. Don't deserve that flag. Oh, Botto 3 doing the flag capture. Nice. Come on, Red, help me out here. <laughs> oh! Oh, the bouncies didn't Man. land right for me there. Good, good try. Oh no! Yellow! Oh. No! <laughs> Yellow came crossing by. Where they came from? They're from the other side. Go get him, Red. Red's, Red's gonna help me out now. I'm gonna pay him off. <laughs> Whoa! All right, so I'm turning off my flashlight here, so I don't appear on the mini map for a little bit. Of course, I'm telling Rich this, so. <laughs> Aha! But it worked, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very good at paying attention to my mini map. <laughs> Ow! Oh man, we're just getting everybody taking our flags here. Taking back what's rightfully ours. Hey, 
me down. He's coming. <laughs> I had the wrong gun. I had a grenade and I couldn't throw it. So it's really coming down to a match between blue and green, as you might expect. I'll just have to add a bot, uh, like God except... mode. Whoop, I'm not this guy, though. <laughs> His name suddenly becomes Chuck Norris, and he... <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you just can't beat him. <laughs> <clears throat> Um, but it looks like uh, maybe actually that's not. It's kind of even now. Everybody has a flag. Mm -hmm. We're about to capture one here. So not the easiest game to win, but it's definitely challenging. Uh, a lot of potential for finesse with the bouncy shots and snipes. What are you doing up there, Rich? You need a grenade? <laughs> All right, I got you one. <laughs> I don't know if that was in your best interest there. Now the flag's even farther away. Yeah, from it you. probably wasn't. <laughs> uh. Unless you, in, in your interest is just to do harm to green, in which case you did a great job. Yeah. <laughs> so proud of myself. <laughs> Whoa! Ah! He's crazy. He's crazy. Oh! So we are one, 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 one now. Yeah, this may not end well soon. It may not end soon. Right. 